Hey guys, Adam here, and welcome to a what I like to call a on the couch one shot. Uh, basically, uh, basically, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little rundown on what this is. This is a very, very, very short review of Marvel's one shot series. I will be reviewing right after my main review the Marvel one shot that's attached to the Blu-ray releases, which started with. Thor, which is why I'm wearing my Thor shirt, because I'm technically shooting this right after having shot my Thor review. I, however, will not be releasing this until after, uh, after I get done with the last Marvel film, or after I get, I release the last Marvel film. So, who knows, maybe it won't be released until after Age of Ultron, I'm not sure, I'm trying to get it, this as out as much as possible. So, with that said, let's get started on the very first uh, one shot, The Consultant. Uh, the plot is uh, basically Colson and Sitwell uh, are meeting at a diner and they're discussing about this meeting that took place off screen where the World Security Council, which is the first time we've heard about them, this uh, wishes to get Emil Blonsky, the abomination, onto the Avengers roster. Um, and um, Fury doesn't want that. Coulson doesn't want that. Sitwell sure as hell doesn't want that. So they try to come up with a way to get it to not happen, which is cr get c called the consultant who at to be a patsy, someone who will annoy General Ross so much that he won't, it's Tony Stark. Tony Stark is the consultant, all right? If you've watched Iron Man 2, you know, you know he's the consultant. Um, and for the most part, it's not bad. I mean, since this is the first one, it's gonna be a little cheaper looking than the others, but at the same time, a little more effort could have been put into it. The biggest praise I can say about it before I go on the negatives is this. The dialogue between Coulson and Sitwell is great. It's a lot of fun. It's very much that dialogue that is very is well known between in the in the Marvel universe at this point. I'm not just talking about Whedon's dialogue either. Uh, 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 love for dialogue. Um, but then it just kind of takes a turn for like, but the downside to it is then it just cuts to a clip from the Incredible Hulk, and then it cuts back to Coulson and Sitwell sitting at the same diner eating pancakes. Boom, done it. Um, again, it's a it's a short three minute video, uh, sh uh, one shot video, just displaying this. But again, I feel like it could have been. I guess they could have done. I mean, I. I mean, they needed a way to connect it with the Incredible Hulk to. I guess to get people to re remember. Yes, the Incredible Hulk exists in this universe, basically. And um, they, but they needed, but they didn't have the budget for it. Like I said, it's not great. I mean, it's not bad. It really isn't. It. I mean, at first I thought it was like. Uh, I don't it's like it's the one I'll watch the least but the, but watching it again like practically five minutes ago um, it's not horrible it I mean really just because the dialogue is really good between Colson and Sitwell it is so much fun to listen to these two um so yeah that's that's about it I really want to talk about um, so what do I give this? Uh, final score is actually going to be a five out of ten. Um, I really, I mean, like I said, I don't hate this, but it's, I mean, it's all right. It, it, it is. It's a good, okay attempt at bring bringing something new to the Marvel universe, basically. And plus, it gives us a little insight in the inner workings of Shield a little more than what the main movies do. So yeah, that's all I gotta say about that. Five out of 10 on the consultant. Uh, next, uh, next time I will uh, give you a review on the next one shot, 
a funny thing happened on the way to Thor's hammer, if I'm saying that correctly. So uh, you all have a wonderful day and bye.